Youngstown City Council is considering using $3 million of American Rescue Plan money for a new safety campus, advancing the proposal to a second reading tonight. Now, this is one of the initial drawings of what it would look like. The $3 million would go toward ar architectural design services, and some members of council were hesitant to say yet, just yet. It's our top story tonight at 10. I'm all for the safety campus. Youngstown Councilman Julius Oliver was fine with the plans to build what's being called the City of Youngstown Safety Campus and spending $3 million of American Rescue Plan money on an architectural design. I haven't received not one complaint about the location or the building of this. But not all of Oliver's fellow council members were as equally enthusiastic. The plan, and these are the artist concepts, is to build the safety center on Wick Avenue on land now owned by the city, where the Wick 6 auto dealers once stood. One concern is the location, that it would be on the north side and not centrally located. Director of Public Works Chuck Shaisho suggested forming a site selection committee. Where you would basically select a number of different sites, you would have a committee that would score them. If we saw that all spelled out, I think this is a, I'm on, you know, a selection committee looking at all those things that you talked about. Uh, if we, if we, if I have that in front of me, I would be definitely on board. We want, at the end of the day, we want to make sure, you know, and this is, uh, when we walk away from this, that we, we made the right decision um, and we equip um, both our fire and our police with the, the best equipment they can have. I'm concerned that we're going to end up running out of time. Finance Director Kyle Myzik reminded Council that the city must decide how to spend all of its $83 million allocation of ARP money by year's end. And the last thing I want is the federal government to be notifying us that we may have to be returning some of these dollars. Council, though, is not convinced that a decision needed to be made now and move the $3 million for the architectural design to a second reading. Youngstown City Council also deciding by a 5-2 to two vote not to allow new 7th Ward Councilwoman Amber White to rescind $1.37 million in ARP money previously allocated to the 7th Ward, the vast majority of it to improve Ipe Park. A group of people showed up with signs urging the council to keep the money for the park, but White wanted to spend it elsewhere. I have a very large elderly population that cannot get out and walk their sidewalks within even the Brownlee Wood area and other neighborhoods because it is like a fun house. Yet we can only replace 694 pieces of sidewalk right now. That can very well be doubled. It was former 7th Ward Councilwoman Basha Adamzak who pushed to spend the money to renovate Ipe Park. Councilman Julius Oliver called White's request more personal than logical, though White said it was not personal at all. Hi everyone, I'm Lindsay Watson. Thanks for watching the WKBN 27 First News YouTube channel. If you want more video news, subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the WKBN 27 First News app for breaking news alerts.